Welcome to The Lift. For this whole week, we've been talking about how the circumstances of life can sometimes make us feel that we were destined for darkness. On Tuesday, we talked about Jesus and how he was born and how that didn't really seem fair, but he chose to not give in to those circumstances. And then yesterday, we talked about the passages that can help fill us up when maybe we feel that life is unfair. And today, I just want to give you some practical steps to follow if you are feeling this way, if you are feeling like life just isn't panning out the way that it should. So I'm going to give you the ABCs of what to do if you feel like your circumstances just aren't what they should be. The first thing that we need to do is A, we need to acknowledge the fault. And what that means is that maybe these circumstances really are your fault. Maybe you've put yourself in these situations and maybe it's not what God has planned because you are far from following what he has laid out for you. And if that's the case, then that's where you stop. You acknowledge the fault and it's your own and then you need to get back on track and then you'll find that God works all things together for the good of those who love him. And so if, if you find that, you know what, the more I think about it, these things are my fault, not just things that are happening to me, then stop right there and fix it. Just stop it. That's, that's the best advice I can give you. If, if it's your fault, then stop doing whatever it is you're doing or start doing whatever it is you need to start doing and then move on. But maybe you will acknowledge the fault and you'll understand that it's not your fault. Maybe it really is just something that happened. And if that's the case, then you move on to B. And B is believe that he knows what's best. So if, if you've acknowledged the fault, you understand that it's not your fault, it's just something that happened, then you can move on to B and you can understand that God works all things together for the good of those who love him. And he knows the plan and that you don't and that his ways are so much higher than your ways and his thoughts are so much higher than your thoughts. And if you can do that, then you can believe that he knows what's best and you can move on. You can move on from that situation. And then you move to step C, which is to choose to get strong amidst the darkness. It means you don't give up. If you truly do believe that God knows what's best, then keep getting stronger. Keep looking into your Bible. Keep praying. Keep hanging out with those people who draw you closer to him. And if you can do that, then the stronger you get, the more you might understand about why these circumstances are the way they are. Or maybe if you don't understand, you'll just be okay with it because you'll understand that God works all things together for the good of those who loves him, that he knows the plan and maybe you don't, and that his ways and his thoughts are so much higher than yours. So we need to acknowledge the fault, believe that he knows what's best, and then choose to get strong no matter what the circumstances might be. And if you can do those things, even when things seem unfair, then maybe this world will seem a little less dark. And then you can understand that you were not destined for darkness. This is The Lift. Hey everyone, Matt Smith here for your fitness tip of the day. Today's tip, I'm gonna talk about the barbell hack squat. Position the bar behind your legs and grab the bar with an overhand grip. Keep back arch and chest up and extend the hips and knees until you stand straight up. This is an underutilized exercise that places strong emphasis on the lower inside area of the quads because leaning forward like in the back squat is simply not possible. Another positive with this exercise is that it lacks spinal compression. Again, this is Matt Smith. Remember, strength is more than muscles. This is the lift.